active learning is a teaching method that strives to more directly involve students in the learning process. The term active learning was introduced by the English scholar R. W. Revens (1907–2003). Bonwell (1991) states that in active learning, students participate in the process and students participate when they are doing something besides passively listening. Weltman, P. 7. Active learning is a method of learning in which students are actively or experientially involved in the learning process and where there are different levels of active learning, depending on student involvement. Weltman, P. 8. It is a model of instruction that focuses the responsibility of learning on learners. It was popularized in the 1990s by its appearance on the Association for the Study of Higher Education Ash, report, Bonwell and Eisen 1991. In this report they discuss a variety of methodologies for promoting active learning. They cite literature that indicates that to learn, students must do more than just listen, they must read, write, discuss, or be engaged in solving problems. It relates to the three learning domains referred to as knowledge, skills and attitudes XA, and that this taxonomy of learning behaviors can be thought of as the goals of the learning process Bloom, 1956. In particular, students must engage in such higher order thinking tasks as analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Active learning engages students in two aspects doing things and thinking about the things they are doing Bonwell and Eisen, 1991 There are diverse range of alternatives for the term active learning like learning through play, technology-based learning, activity-based learning, group work, project method, etc. The underlying factor behind these are some significant qualities and characteristics of active learning. Active learning is the opposite of passive learning, it is learner-centered, not teacher-centered, and requires more than just listening. Active participation of each and every student is a necessary aspect in active learning. Students must be doing things and simultaneously think about the work done and the purpose behind it so that they can enhance their higher-order thinking capabilities. Many research studies have proven that active learning as a strategy has promoted achievement levels and some others say that content mastery is possible through active learning strategies. However, some students as well as teachers find it difficult to adapt to the new learning technique. Active learning should transform students from passive listeners to active participants, helps the student understand the subject through inquiry, gathering and analyzing data to solving higher order cognitive problems. There is intensive use of scientific and quantitative literacy across the curriculum and technology based learning is also in high demand and concern with active learning. Barnes 1989, suggested principles of active learning. 1. Purposive, the relevance of the task with the student's concerns. 2. Reflective, student's reflection on the meaning of what is learned. 3. Negotiated, negotiation of goals and methods of learning between students and teachers. 4. Critical, students appreciate different ways and means of learning the content. 5. Complex, Students compare learning tasks with complexities existing in real life and making reflective analysis. 6. Situation driven, the need of the situation is considered in order to establish learning tasks. 7. Engaged, real life tasks are reflected in the activities conducted for learning. Active learning requires appropriate learning environments through the implementation of correct strategy. Characteristics of learning environment are 1. Aligned with constructivist strategies and evolved from traditional philosophies. 2. Promoting research-based learning through investigation and contains authentic scholarly content. 3. Encouraging leadership skills of the students through self-development activities. 4. Creating atmosphere suitable for collaborative learning for building knowledgeable learning communities. 5. Cultivating a dynamic environment through interdisciplinary learning and generating high-profile activities for better learning experience. 6. Integration of prior knowledge with new ones to incur a rich structure of knowledge among the students.
7. Task-based performance enhancement by giving the students a realistic practical sense of the subject matter learned in the classroom.